It's media. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe, y'all. We got breaking news. I'm talking about breaking, breaking news. Member of Al Outcast member Andre 3000 is releasing a solo album this week called The New Blue Sun. Now it's going to be 87 minutes. And, you know, for my younger subscribers, Andre 3000 is in a lot of people's top five through Outcast. They did have that uh, double album back in the day that went diamond. Uh, speaker Box of Love Below. And then they came out with Idlewild in 2006. And then Andre 3000, he pretty much retired. He jumped on features here and there. Maybe he was on Frank Ocean's song and one of Drake's songs, one of Rick Ross songs. Like he, he comes in here and there, but he kind of just... He just fell back and us outcast fans have been waiting for this forever you know and not from the south but i've been in the south for almost two decades and they were really the one the first ones to start putting the the south aka in atlanta on the map on a large level they're one of the most highest selling uh, duels of all time and they're one of one of the only people that went diamond so anyway he releasing the album i wonder how it's gonna be i'm gonna support it i'm sure it's gonna be good but we know about Andre 3000 it might be it might be maybe the music might be ahead of his time i don't know i don't know if it nobody should expect the same Andre 3000 as when they came out with idlewild back in 2006 but I wonder who's all going to be on the album. I'm looking at this article by NPR. And I'm not seeing. Seeing any features yet. But. If you just ask me. And again. This is if you asked. Right. I want you to probably the whole on the album. Obviously Andre 3000. I mean Andre 3000. My bad. Big boy. Other half of Outkast. I wouldn't be surprised if they're on the albums. Maybe even Drake. I wouldn't be surprised, but I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully y'all looking forward to it. Y'all going to support it and people online going crazy because Andre 3000 is a lot of people's top five, even though he hasn't put out solo work like that. He is in a lot of people's top five out top five artists of all time. But what y'all think?